Happening now, the success of redevelopment on South Nevada, bringing added traffic to the already busy road. Now, Bill Folsom looking at what's being done to deal with the increase in congestion. He's in studio now with more on the changes that are in the works right now, Bill. Yeah, before redevelopment started, city traffic engineers knew if it went well, traffic control measures would need updates. The current three lanes in each direction remain with no option to add more. So they're adding lights, removing lights, and changing where cars can and cannot get on and off of Nevada Avenue. Just today, another new business opens on South Nevada. It joins several others just opening or open within the last year. Welcome redevelopment with expected side effects. Whenever you have redevelopment, there's always the possibility that you're going to have more traffic, which is what we're seeing on South Nevada. In a redevelopment area, traffic engineers have to work within existing space. Lanes, they stay the same. So they look at how to safely and smoothly get cars in and out of newly filled parking lots. We are adding a new signal to South Nevada. It will be at the entrance to uh, natural grocers development. And their side streets, a block down where Brookside intersects Nevada, the two sides are off center. It requires treatment of each side as a separate intersection. Sinking the two sides will happen once power lines get moved. There are plans for those lines to be underground by CSU, and as soon as those lines are underground, we will look at straightening Brookside into one intersection. Then added traffic is making a pre-existing issue worse. Motorway runs close to the I-25 off and on ramps. Traffic engineers say too close. We are going to start a public process on that soon and look at removing the signal at that location and restricting it to right in, right out. Eliminating this as a road you can cross and other changes likely won't sit well with some. Hopefully there will be enough improvements that even people that aren't happy with some of the changes can overall feel good about the neighborhood. The new traffic signal is currently under construction and will be up in the next couple of months. The other changes will take more than a year to put in place. Elizabeth. Bill, 